Hello everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here. Welcome back to my Let's Play walkthrough of The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel, continuing from where we left off. So we caught the culprits who were trying to cause a war. Um, Mr. Gideon got away. Gideon was his name, right? Yeah, it was. And uh, yeah, we fought a giant hideous spider. <laughs> Oh, for fuck's sake! Really? Ah. We caught the people responsible! Milliam's gonna come through. an innocent blue-haired cute girl <laughs> yep you've got some explaining to do Milliam Lecter's hot. Got a thing for red hair. <laughs> I have red hair after all. Coming to save the day, prevent war. Good lad! Redhead to save the day. <laughs> We're not babysitting though, right? <laughs> you are a pipsqueak, you're tiny and adorable. Yeah, we've still got questions we need answering though. Ah, saved by the redhead guy. No answers for us. blood
Bloody hell. Sweet. This is great news though. War averted. If red hat guy hadn't showed up, there would have been death and pain. Oh, that's a nice sunset. It's a really nice scene, actually. Who said students can't save the day? Quite jarring that stutter though when the camera's panning like that. Precisely on time. Comrade G, you've done well. Comrade C, I hmm. wasn't expecting you to come all this way. A leader has to make sure all the gears are moving as they should. It sounds like the plan was a resounding success. His voice is so awesome. Our aim was to stir up a conflict with the Republic that would force him to let his guard down. To that end, this wretched state of affairs could hardly be called a success. And yet, even this outcome will work to our advantage in the days ahead. After all, we demonstrated that he faces the risk of his ranks being divided without warning at any time. And neither the Icy Maiden nor Scarecrow can hope to outwit us. You have a point. We should begin making preparations for the next step of our plan. The time has finally come to present ourselves on the world stage. Huh. <laughs> That's the spirit. Ah, oh, shit's about to get real. At least all's well that ends well, right? Everyone in Group A is safe, and we narrowly avoided war with Calvard. Though I can't say I was expecting the Intelligence Division to show up when they did. A jet black airship. Probably one of Reinford's latest models. The military uses them for reconnaissance. The nobles and the rich just use them for fun. But as for how they got one... You wouldn't happen to know anything, would you? Ha! <laughs> Sharon! You really are a sharp one, Lady Sarah. It's almost troubling. I'm impressed that you can tell I was there. 
I'm pretty sure you let me have that one. I felt a familiar sensation, though, just for a second. Makes me think back to... this one time, two years ago. Two years ago, you say? Never mind. But you really don't know, then, where that airship came from? I'm afraid not. I checked the Rhineford Group's manufacturing records and couldn't find a trace. At least, not in the official files. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Rhineford has its own issues to deal with. Well, let's put that aside for now. I'm on my way to the settlement. What are you planning to do? Hmm... Well, I would like to give my regards to Master Gwen, so I would like to accompany you, if that's alright. I can hardly wait to see the look on Lady Elisa's face when I show up! <laughs> Sometimes I actually feel bad for that girl. Sharon! Wow, Sharon's so awesome. We've suspected for a while she's more than meets the eye, though. And also Sarah as well, like, I feel like Sarah puts on a bit of a facade to hide how good she actually is. Well, this place really was nice, but it took forever to move from one point to another. God, his mother is so pretty. Aww. Sweets and fashion, the two most important things in a lady's life. <laughs> well, in such a like close knit village, you would get close to new people because it's new and exciting and stuff, so. For them, it's like the highlight of the year, new people coming to their little village. <laughs> You're quite the bodacious beauty yourself. Stop hitting on the old man. He doesn't like what it's become. Fair play to him.
<laughs> Such a useless reply. Hmm, <laughs> very well. Much to Alicia's dismay. <laughs> Sorry, old man. <laughs> Aww, it was nice. Gaius has such a lovely family. He lives in such a beautiful area. And I'm so glad we were able to prevent war. Because these people are just lovely. And no one deserves to be killed in war. Especially when the innocent people just caught up in the middle of it. Okay, that's the end of the third chapter then, it seems. Keep up the good work. Perfect. You guys are the best. Oh, sweet. Great S. Okay, guys. Well, this seems like a good time to stop this episode here before we move on to the fourth chapter and return to Falls Academy. Trophy! <laughs> so don't forget to like, comment, favourite, share and of course subscribe if you haven't done so already. All those things really do help me out as a YouTuber. As always, thank you for watching and take it easy guys.